Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. So if you hear talking, laughing, sports, <laughs> any of those things, just try to block it out. Um, I'm filming in the boutique today. I did go shopping today with Jazz. And I wanted to show you guys the goodies that I picked up. I know I love watching these haul videos, so I figured I would go ahead and film one as well. It's a lot of stuff here, y'all. This is why it's better when I stay in the house. So I'm gonna start with um, what came in the mail today. I ordered some more dashboards. And hopefully the volume is okay too. Um, but I ordered some more dashboards because I realized in kind of pre-planning ahead that I didn't have these dashboards that I love so much from the Clever Planner um, for the different months. So this is my February dashboard. And I'll show these again when I do um, another planner video because I know that I owe that as well. Then this is what I got for March. Isn't that gnome just too stinking cute? Oh, and please ignore my press-ons. These were like... I guess you could say a matte. They didn't really look shiny, but they also didn't look matte. I think they were in between, but either way, they are scratched up and just, they're not sexy. So please ignore those. Um, I'm actually gonna do them tonight after I film this, but this one is for April. It's like a cute little girl with a cute little tutu. Look at her little skirt and it's see-through. And then she's got her little bunny ears. I just stink and love it. I just love it. And then this one is for May. This one has my name at the top. And then it looks like this. It's just a girl. Sorry, I'm trying to get rid of that glare. Just a cute little babe, you know, with her wine bottle and a big ass wine glass. Yes, please. That is so me lately. <laughs> and then this one is for June. Now this one, I will have to get another one next year because this one was personalized with the age for the year. I will be that big four two this year, but I thought this one was too stinking cute, especially how it says birthday girl. And let me show you. It is cut out on the side, so it'll kind of hang over a little bit, which I think is gonna be really, really cute. And then, I don't know how I missed it, y'all, but it turns out I did not have one for August. So I ordered this one for August, but I feel like this one I also can use for other months as well. Um, and on some of the dashboards, I put Miss SB, and some of them I put Layla, but I thought this was just too sticky cute. And I don't know what it was about this red, but the red just really spoke to me, which is kind of crazy because, um, of course, it's Valentine's Day anyway, but <laughs> almost. Um, but it's, you know, it's like red season. Red season, love season, pink hearts, all that fun stuff. Anyway, Victoria's Secret as well as Coach has released some new really cute stuff with red. Um, Vicky's Secrets has like the red and pink hearts, a couple of gold hearts in there. Really cute stuff. Of course, they also released Layla Purple. Oh my God. Y'all already know. Everything that I thought I needed, I, I add to cart. Um, and then Coach released really cute like red and pink cherry stuff. So super, super cute. But for some reason, I ordered these well before those things released. But for some reason, this specific dashboard with the red just really, really spoke to me. So this one's going to be super cute for August. However, I can use it any month because it's not necessarily season specific. So anyway, dashboards from the Clever Planner. I will link it in the description down below, but I have linked it in previous planner videos. I love these dashboards. I love the Clever Planner. Um, so yeah, placed another order. Uh, with my order came one of those cute little business cards. So here's some information if you want to screenshot it now or run to her um, Instagram or her Etsy shot now. Um, she sent this cute little plan for the week, which I can easily laminate and create like a... Um, a bookmark to actually mark my place for the week and then she sent these cute little kind of hard and envelope and cupcake and these are all stickers that I can use you know like in my February setup or even in my weekly plan so super cute I love mail her stuff is awesome I have ordered dashboards and planner things from lots of shops but when it excuse me sorry y'all trap bird when it comes to um planner dashboards I just really really love hers I don't know what it is I just love her so keep coming back for hers and if anybody is eyeballing this cutie alert right here there will be a what's in my bag on her so no need to fear I'm just gonna roll up my pants a little bit I'm a little hot I'm a little hot so I am just gonna dive right in I'm gonna try and give y'all prices um just in case you want them I know sometimes when I'm watching these videos I like to hear it so I will say it this one is from the Dollar Tree um this says love and it has the little um what's it called burlap string so you can hang it 
Um, so you can hang it if you want, but I won't be hanging it. It will be going in front of one of the columns by the front door. I think it's super, super cute. So I did pick that up. Um, I like decorating for the seasons. After December, I'm just like super into decorating things. So I decorate for January with like silver and gold and um, like a pretty blue color. And then, you know, I like to do February. I like to do Valentine's Day. March, I like to do St. Patrick's. And then, of course, you know, um, April, I like to do Easter. So I just picked up a couple extra things that I thought I needed, even though I do have a good bit of stuff already in my stash in the house from previous setups so these I thought were too stinking cute these were $20 yes $20 I did pick up two of these so that I can place them um, oops on the wall in the living room the back looks like this I already have a really pretty wreath for the front door but I thought this would be really cute where I do like to hang a couple things on the wall in the living room over the couch so I got that. and again like I said there was two of them so here's the second one then, you know how sometimes when you pull the little um the lint out of the um, dryer sometimes some of the pieces fall on the floor so i wanted a really cute girly like purple or pink or i don't know something cute um and i've seen them before in other people's videos as well as i've seen them before in the store i just never thought about buying it but recently it's been kind of getting on my nerves um the <laughs> little lint that kind of rolls around on the floor so i wanted one of these tiny little you know brush and dustpan sets for the laundry room um so i got this from tj maxx for four dollars i thought it was super cute it's kind of like a it's not really red but it's not really orange it's like a reddish orange color which of course does not go with the laundry room by any means and this is a light gray um but it will work for now so i can easily put this on the stand that's in the laundry room and i'll be able to quickly get up that little you know the little dust bunnies and stuff but i ain't gonna lie y'all if i see a cuter one trust to believe i will be getting it um then this i do pop my pimples when they come up and they're poppable so i saw this cute set y'all already know this case right here is purple yes please so this is like a travel set of course you can use this at home um it's called a blemish extractor it's just a big word for pencil pimple popper if you ask me um but i like how it came with the little case it kind of reminds me of the case that comes with the um the glass nail file this was five dollars if i'm not mistaken yes five dollars so again it's just those i'm trying to get rid of the glare it's just those little um like metal tools you can use to kind of pop your pimples or drain them or kind of take care of blackheads and then it does come with a cute little purple case so i love that my hair is growing and don't pay it any mind right now it is dirty so it is doing its own thing uh, but it's getting longer so i did need some more of the binder clips and i thought these with the pearls and it's kind of like like heart shape i thought that was so stinking cute these were five no six these were six and so two nice like large size pearl clips that's what they look like from the side super cute and what else is down here i don't know if it's just me i don't know if tweezers are supposed to like wear out kind of like fingernail files i never really noticed that but i've noticed lately the one that i have in my bathroom that i use to you know pluck the little hairs of my eyebrows it does not seem to be grabbing them and i'm pretty talented when it comes to plucking eyebrows like i know how to get the hair i get the hair and the tweezers like nah i really don't feel like it bitch if you don't do your damn job so anyway i saw this they're not in place i guess somebody must have um i don't know shook it up or something but oh look i think i just shook them back in place somewhat maybe anyway it's <laughs> two tweezers and they are both layla purple yas please yas please can we can we say it can we say it so one is slanted and one is straight i don't really have a preference either way i know how to get to that hair um so it's just two purple tweezers and this was four dollars so i did pick that up and then i saw these and i don't know what's up y'all lately i have been liking to drink my wine out of these versus the tall ones um, and I even drink juice and water out of these two in the house, like with dinner and lunch and stuff. So I got these two cute, they're called stemless glasses. I freaking love these. I found some for Christmas with these really pretty trees on it. And even though Christmas is long gone, y'all, I have been like reaching for that cup every time I go in the kitchen to get something to drink, even if it's water. So I saw these and thought they were too stinking cute. You've got Mickey and Minnie on the back. Of course, it's Valentine's Day. So they've got all the cute love stuff out. These were $10. And as you can see, it has the Minnie and Mickey on here. Here and then will it let me turn it oh sweet on the other side it has the word love which i thought was super super cute so hand support hand support all right that bag is empty and i went to tk max ross marshall's the 
Dollar Tree, and then the beauty supply store is the stops that we made today. So in here, oh, this is actually Jazzy stuff, so I won't show you guys that. This is a gift for someone, um, and it's Jazzy's item, so I do not want to show that at all. Alrighty, this is all oh, it turned. Oh man. Okay, so this turned in transit, so you're not gonna be able to see it real good. But this one says after school, and this one says before school, and then you've got a little um, eye mask. It says off duty teacher. The uh, mug says before school, and then the wine glass says after school. And I thought this set was too stinking cute. Um, this was ten dollars. I am going to gift this, um, but I really, really liked it. But I hate that this one's turned around. You can't read it, but this is really, really cute, you guys. I was like, oh, this is adorable. All right, it's time to do some rotation of undies. So these were 15. I thought these were super cute. The back is all lace, which I really, really liked. I hope that these fit nice. I'm going to try them on one pair over my jeans. And if they don't fit, they are going back because I do not believe in wasting my money. So I'm going to try on a pair over my jeans. Hopefully they fit nice. Um, but I love seamless waistbands. I don't like to see my muffin top. I don't, I don't want to know that I be eating cookies. Don't don't remind me if I'm not currently eating the cookies. So anyway, I like seamless panties. I love, love lace. Um, and I'm not a real fan of the panty line or just, I don't know y'all. I just give me a thong. I am a thong bitch all day, every day. Like that's, that's how I get down. So pick up some of those. Then this is a gift. I'm not going to show that. And then this, I shouldn't even have to tell y'all why these jumped in the cart. So Layla Purple Fingernail Files, these were $4. I did get those. And I'm going to put this in there so I can keep up with that gift item. So while we're on it, we move on and grab some others. So I got this cutie pie here to accompany that gift item. Um, oh, you scared me. <laughs> In the Dollar Tree, I got a couple of goodies. Molly, what are you doing? Can move. Will you get those from? Move. A couple of goodies here. These are for a gift. And then my niece, when we took her shopping with us last time, we had got her some sunglasses. Um, and I don't know, I guess I just wasn't thinking at the time, but we didn't get her a sunglasses case. So while we were in the Dollar Tree, I snatched one of these sleeves because she's been putting her sunglasses in her bag just naked. So I got her one of these so that it wouldn't have to go in there bare. So I actually need to put that. Okay, that's perfect. So I can get that for her. Y'all, I have not had any Mamba candy in a while. And I saw this one and got so excited. It has peach passion fruit, pineapple coconut, apple kiwi, and mango orange. Yes, please. So I'm going to put that right over there. <laughs> this is a food item. And then I don't know if I'm going to like this or not. It's a makeup blender sponge. And I was thinking it might um, be great to use one on a handle. I don't know if I'm going to like it. But for a dollar, I was willing to try it. It is all, the packaging is all smushed up. But essentially, it's like a beauty blender on a stick. Again, from the Dollar Tree. So a nice little dollar twenty-five. It is pink. I would prefer Layla Purple. You already know. But hey, if I can't get purple, I will take pink. But trust and believe. If I'm ever looking at an item and there is a pink option and a purple option y'all already know i'm leaving that pink one on the shelf right yes i'm gonna leave that pink one right there on the shelf and take the purple right on home with me the next thing in here is just a loofah i do like to wash with these um i love them <laughs> i also like the ones for the back so that is a loofah i'm gonna put that to the side because there's some more over there and i'm gonna try to get them all in one bag all right next i go what some cute gnome towels for the kitchen for Valentine's Day. I thought these were super, super cute. Most two-pack bundles like this cost $8, but this one happened to be on clearance for $4. So, yes, please. Um, then I thought these cherries were too stinking cute. This is the traditional $8 price, but I loved how it had this on the... I don't know how to explain. How to, what, what do you call this? Like, beat it? It's not beat it because it's soft. I don't know y'all I just really really like the bottom and I thought that the um the cherries and the red was super cute so these aren't for a specific season these are just to hang over the stove just for any time um since the entire first level is essentially um red black and gold so put these in the kitchen and then like I said these are for Valentine's Day 
Well, let me move these flowers back because I don't want them to get smushed up. Okay, perfect. All right, these are also a gift item, so I'm not going to show those. Um, okay, I don't know. Let me just say I got these. Because one of the col one the color, but two, I don't know if you can see it, but there is a suction cup on the back of this. You know how sometimes like when you go to someone's house and you have to take your, you know, your toiletry bag or hygiene bag, whatever you want to call it, into the bathroom, do your business. And then of course, you know, when you leave, at least I do, um, me and my, my crew, we usually take all of our items back out and put it back in the toiletry bag and back in the actual um suitcase or duffel bag or whatever but I've always felt like at least the shower stuff would be nice if you could leave it in the shower but sometimes there's not enough room for that but I saw these silicone bottle sets and I thought these were great because one they're really easy to squeeze but two they have no I can't even show you on the gray one either but they have the suction cup on the back if it's zooming in well and showing that it's got a suction cup on the back so it can literally stick to the wall and stay in the bathroom I thought that was genius so I am going to trade out what we're currently using in our travel bags and replace it with this so I picked those up and they didn't have a lot of St. Patty stuff out yet, but I did pick up these cute towels for the kitchen. I think this was also eight. Yes, eight dollars. And so the front one looks like this. I love these gnomes. They are so stinking cute. And then this is what the back one looks like. Just kind of a green pattern. But I thought those would be very, very cute. Very, very cute. That bag is empty. And then in here. This one's from Ross. I got some more tissue paper whenever I'm mailing out love boxes or putting in, you know, gift bags, birthday bags, whatever. I think this one was five. Yes, this one was five. So it's got like pink and gold hearts and silver hearts and it's 150 sheets. So it's actually a really thick pack. I normally buy like a thinner pack, but it's like a really thick pack. So I thought these were cute. So I grabbed those. And then Jazzy actually found this, but it's genius. I've never seen it. It's a simple function in sync dual bristle brush. And essentially it's got suction cups in the back. It was $2 so it can stick to the side of the sink like so. And it allows you to wash cups and mugs a little bit easier because it's got multiple angles of bristles and you literally can put the cup on like this and turn it and wash it. So her chore is the kitchen and she saw this and she was like, mommy, this is smart. And I'm like, sure is Edgar. So we got that. And then I had also picked up these for four dollars while we were in Ross. I saw these first and had went ahead and grabbed them. I might return them just because the pearl ones are so much cuter. But I did grab these clips. This was four dollars for two of them. But like I said, I needed the longer, kind of thicker clips. I need one right now, honestly. Um, but I needed the longer clips just to kind of um, start to hold my hair because when I flat iron it, it's not long, but it's long enough that it's not staying in the smaller clips I had when I cut my hair. So this was nine. This is a plush to sharper pet throw. Essentially, anybody can use it. It says pet throw, but I mean, that, don't, that ain't got to be for them. Anyway, Jazzy likes dogs. If she could have her way, she would have a dog. So she picked this out for herself. She does like to have a seasonal throw on her bed and she likes to lay with it and watch movies and all that fun stuff. So as you can see, it does have the um, Sherpa lining on the inside, which I love blankets that have that, y'all. They are so stinking comfortable. They're just like warm for no reason, you know? All right. Oh, it's a lot of stuff here. Okay, so this is my receipt from my eye appointment. Some sample contacts for my new prescription. Um, and I guess I can go with the rest of this stuff, but it kind of needs to make it to the bathroom. Then, I don't know about y'all, but I don't like to pay a whole lot for um, kitchen cooking utensils unless it's going to be like this, like the actual metal ones. And I have been looking for some of these for a while and I just have not seen the sizes I want or um, like the shape that I need. Like it would only have, I don't know, the spatulas and I'm looking for the regular spoon or it would only have like the spoon that's solid and I was looking for the one with the holes. I just never seem to get what I want. But this is a 10 piece stainless steel kitchen tool set and it was on 10 bucks. So now the Dollar Tree is $1.25. This was a better bargain than even looking in Dollar Tree. So anyway, got that for the kitchen. Been looking for that for a while. The kids bathroom um has a rose gold kind of theme in it um this whole upper like outer area has like a, a rose gold and kind of burnt orange copper-ish kind of color see 
this color pillow is kind of a theme up here, which I think looks really good with rose gold. So anyway, the over the um, door shower hook, we've had it probably a good five years maybe. But anyway, around here is starting to kind of tarnish and kind of peel off and it's coming off on the bath towels. So I needed another over the door rack. So I grabbed this one from Marshalls for $10. I love when it has the double set so that you have one for the towel and one for the washcloth. And then of course, multiple spots. You know, so both the kids can hang up their things and in case, you know, they have somebody sleep over, things of that nature. And then in here, we have been liking to put um, brown sugar in our coffee and tea lately. So I found this cute little sugar pour while in Marshalls. I think it was $4. Yeah, $4. And so it kind of reminds me of the ones that you see like at restaurants, kind of like at um, like IHOP and Waffle House and... Um, What's the other spot called Denny's and places like that so the pour spout is right there so I thought this was super cute to go in the kitchen originally I wanted to do like a covered canister with like a lid um, and then put like a little spoon in it but when I saw that I was like shoot this is even better so I grabbed that and then in here y'all I don't need no more mugs okay I just can't help it sometimes I just can't help it so this is a wine glass and coffee mug set. This one was, but you want back to sleep? Oh, I hit a football now. Um, this one was $8. So this one has a wine glass and a coffee mug and it's nurse um, affiliated. So one says nurse life and one says safety first drink with the nurse. And I thought that was freaking hilarious. I actually chuckled in the store when I read that. Um, I think it's super cute. I think it would have been nicer if the words were red on here instead of pink. Um, but I still like it and I really, really like this mug. So these kind of things get me through my day. But anyway, picked up this cute little mug set because I definitely like my coffee. And then this guy, I've been wanting one of these for like a year, y'all. I just haven't bought it. I looked on Amazon for some and then I never added to cart. And then I looked a couple of other places and just, I don't know, y'all, they just didn't rock my world. So anyway, I thought this was super cute. This is, let me see what they call it. Well, first, I'll tell you, it was 30, but if you look on the inside, I don't know if it's picking it up, but it's got a little bit of kind of spots in there. I guess they must have had something else in it and got a little bit dingy. Um, so I'm going to basically take some Clorox wipes and just kind of wipe that out. I'm not putting anything in here that's food involved, so I'm not too concerned. Um, so she gave me some off, so I ended up paying 27 and this is called Handcrafted Made in Indonesia. I don't really think it has a name. They didn't, they didn't write anything on here. But basically, it's a big old basket that you can use for anything. I am going to place this by the fireplace because it does have this pretty white um, kind of braided looking um, texture to it. And then this is like a black and white color. And our theme, like I told you guys, was kind of red, black, and gold downstairs. Our couches are gray. Um, so what I want to do is throw the throws in here that are for that season. I do like to buy, I'm getting more into it now, the seasonal throws to kind of match the decor and decoration that's in the living room and kitchen so I wanted to be able to put them in there and I don't know how y'all do y'all's but I normally roll mine up like this and then I place them behind the pillow on the couch like I place it in this crack and then I put the pillow in front of it and try to stand it up which it works fine it looks great but I still have had my mind on getting one of these one day so what I want to do is roll them up and set them in here and then of course when you're using them they're on the couch and then put them up you know when you're leaving the living room so that is the concept that is the reason I got this big old thing so that's what that is for and I have no idea what size it is or any of that again it's from Marshalls and I paid 27 all right get that out the way all right what's next so this is a Dollar Tree bag I'm gonna open it I tied a knot in it so none of them will pop out but essentially it's full of loofahs I did find some purples this time and I was super excited <laughs> I found some purples, I found some pinks, um, I think like teal and blue, and then I think I found some green ones, Mally likes the green ones, oh and kind of this light pink corally looking color, I just want to make sure there's nothing else in here to show you guys, nope, so this bag is all loofahs, so these are for the bathrooms of course, for us to wash our butts, and then in this one, get this up so this cute little crate says xoxo valentine um kisses so hugs and kisses it's from ross and it was seven um this is actually a gift for jazz she's gifting that to somebody 
I'll put that over there with her stuff. And let me see. I think this is also hers. Yes. This is also the other items that she got to gift. I'm going to take her receipt though. Y'all be happy to know. I'm using fetch now. <laughs> so I'm going to take that receipt. And then let me double check this one. I might have left it in here. Yeah, I did. So I'm going to take that receipt too. All right, so all of this is Jazzy's. She's gifting that to somebody. So, I'm not going to show that. All right. So, I was looking for a table cover to go over the um, the dining room table. I like to do a table cover and then kind of do like chargers and napkins, placemats, things of that nature. Um, sometimes I find placemats I like and sometimes I don't. These gnomes were too stinking cute. And the good news is this is actually a six pack. It was $8. We do have six seats at our dining room table. So I was really happy um, with this that I didn't have to like buy two of them and then not use two of the ones that come in here to get the quantity I needed. But anyways, um, I thought this was cute. I thought this was really, really cute. So I did go ahead and pick these up and I'm going to use this on our table instead of getting an actual um, table cover. And so I thought that was a great buy. So I'll grab that. And this I could not help myself y'all. I told you I don't need no more mugs. I'm trying to turn it make sure you can see. I think this is also oh no it's only seven. Thought it was eight. So this one says call me hubby and this one says wifey for lifey. I thought that was too stinking cute. White and gold and then pink and gold. I thought that was really cute. I like it. I like it. I like it. So I got those for me and hubby. And then oh when we left home and this is exactly why this is in a bag. When we left home, I was drinking coffee and I drank all of it, but I don't like to have to hold the coffee cup when I'm leaving the store and I've got all these bags. So what I usually do is grab an extra bag and then I will put my coffee cup in here, tie it in a knot, and then anything that drains out of the cup stays all inside the bag so it doesn't spill in anything. So that's what that is. And I'm just going to put that on there and put it. Perfect. So I can take that downstairs to the kitchen. All right. So where are we at? This is Luca's. And then this was the kitchen. All right, cool. And let me grab some more of this stuff. Try to get it closer. No, it's so much. So, so much. But I love it. I love it. This is why I try to do this a little bit far in between. Because I know once I get in the store, I'm going to have a good time. I'm going to have a good time. I don't remember picking anything else other than Dollar Tree. Um, I was looking to see if they had any more cute... Um, like pencil pouches or just the girly pouches or like the cute um, PVC pouches to go in our purses, but I didn't see any of those. Um, I'm gonna open this to make sure, but I didn't see any. So all I really got out of the Dollar Tree was a lupus, if I remember right. And then just that one love decor sign. Come on, man. This is the con to wearing my long press on nails. I can't open that then. I just want to double check there's nothing else at the bottom. I don't remember getting like a lip gloss or anything else other than that little beauty blender on a stick. Where's my time? 27 minutes. It's not too bad. All right. Come on, come on, come on. I'm about to just say forget it. It's loosening. I just can't get all the way. There we go. All right. So I don't know if you guys use these, but I freaking love it. There is nobody in the shower to wash my back. So I love getting this. It's like an actual loofah and it comes on a stick like this and I love getting these and I love changing it every month. So every 30 days I get a new back scrubber and new loofah and I use two. One for my body, with my bath and body works and one for my hot pocket with my Dove Sensitive. So yeah, this is just all loofahs. And come on, come on, come on. All right, so the camera is coming up on the little 30 minutes. So I'm gonna stop it and start a new one. You still here? Y'all made it this far? Okay, let's keep going. So we rearranged the furniture in the living room a little bit. Um, so I got this cute little flower vase because we I'm not, we didn't add a table. We added a table to the living room, but essentially we didn't buy the table. We got it from the man cave because hubby got this cute like um, fireplace TV stand thing. It's super cool, y'all, because it actually works. But anyway. So I needed some stuff to start decorating that table. I didn't really see anything that tickled my fancy except for this. 
Um, I do wish this was a little cheaper, but I haven't really bought a floral vase in a while, so I'm not sure how much they cost. I normally DIY that kind of stuff, but this one was $17. I did get it from TJ Maxx, but I thought it was super, super cute. It's just a clear vase. Um, it kind of has the flowers like stuck at the bottom to kind of mimic like if they were in water. And then of course they just look really pretty from the top. And these actually feel good. Like, I don't know if it says anything about what they are or the texture or whatever but i just really like the way these feel it just says spring gathering real what hold on y'all got my eyes dilated so i cannot see as clear real touch okay oh so i guess it's essentially making it feel like a real flower not that plasticky feeling so i thought that was really really sweet so got those and then what else is in here I need to save all this paper for love boxes. I told you I can't help myself. I am obsessed with coffee mugs. So I picked up this one. Of course, it is pink and the gorgeous hearts, which I do love. Um, I don't really have like a favorite shape, like, you know, hearts, butterflies, um, rainbows. I, I love all of it. All of it. <laughs> um, but I thought this was super cute. I really do like the pink hearts. And as y'all know, if it does not come in purple, but it comes in pink, add a card. So this one was $5. I'm sure the hearts are, of course, for Valentine's Day. But I just thought it was really, really cute and girly. So add that to my mug collection. I'm going to toss that paper over there. And then this I thought was too cute. I am obsessed with throws these days, you guys. I cannot leave this one there. So I got this one. It's a nice plush blanket. This one is one of those larger ones. It's super soft. Let's see, it's a full slash queen size. It's a 90 by 90. It was $25 for Marshalls and it looks like this. So it's got Mickey and Minnie on it and some kisses and hearts and stuff. It's super cute. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. So this is movie nights for me and hubby together on the couch versus the other girls I feel like are just, you know, big enough for one person. So got this super large throw here and i think that bag is empty i can put that in there and then so i used to have a bunch of um sleep shirts from vicky secrets and i was crazy paying 25 dollars for one damn night of pajama shirt um but over time you know if you wash them a lot you wear them a lot quite a few years and when i say quite a few years i mean like 10 12 years i have the same ones there's nothing wrong with them um, but after a while, they did start to look a bit worn. So I went ahead and tossed them all out. But I don't want to go pay $25 per sleep shirt. So I picked up a few. But unfortunately, that time that I did that was right in the bulk of Christmas season. So all the ones I've been wearing for the last year, y'all, like literally I got these last Christmas. <laughs> they have all said things like, oh dear, and cuddle up, and um, <sighs> let it snow, just just winter season, Christmas season, you name it, they're all Christmassy. But I wanted to get some new ones and kind of take those out and kind of move them where I wear them Christmas season versus year round. Um, plus, I noticed how they're soft, but the ones I'm seeing in the store lately have been even softer. So I wanted to pick these up. So I'm kind of in the mindset where I really won't pay more than like $13 for a sleep shirt these days. So I love it when I find some that are $10. This is a two pack from Ray Dunn. I do wear a medium and pretty much almost everything that I wear. Um, so it's $20 for the two pack. So essentially $10 each. This one is pink and white stripes and says need sleep. And this one is kind of a gray leopard print um, and says dream. So I thought that was super, super cute and it feels gorgeous. So essentially this was 10 each. So I love that. And then I kind of been going through some of my older lingerie and things that I'm comfortable sleeping in versus things that I'm comfortable wearing for like five and a half minutes and then it's on the floor if you get my drift um but these are one of the ones i do like to sleep in i don't really care if it's padded or not this one ten, this one is padded but i thought the colors were cute this was also ten dollars i got this one from what is that tj maxx from tj maxx so it's just one of those little nighties you can sleep in or these are the ones that i'm comfortable wearing like all night um like i said not the the stuff you're only in for like five and a half minutes if that <laughs> Then I saw these and I grabbed two because I thought one would make a great gift. It's one of those little acrylic bottle stoppers. It's like acrylic heart on a metal base and an airtight silicone seal. It was $4 from TJ Maxx. Look how cute that heart is. Isn't that cute? That's adorable. So I did grab this um, one for my house and then I went ahead and grabbed another one um, for a gift. So second one, same thing. So cute. And I feel like it's a glare on that. Can you see that good? There you go. Look how pretty that is. Isn't that cute? 
So I did grab two of those. And then I've been needing to get a couple of new beauty blenders. So I'm a little rough when I wash my stuff, y'all. I don't know about y'all, but I will take this thing and I will scrub it all in my hand. And it usually does fine there, but I make the mistake of then going from my hand to the little, um, what do you call those things? The little beauty mats we use. It's got the little nodules and lines and ridges and all that. And you use it to clean your makeup brushes. Sometimes I have music in my ear and I get in the zone and I'm washing all my brushes and stuff all at the same time. Washing these all at the same time. And I will freaking rub these beauty blenders on that beauty mat. And that's the worst thing you could do, especially if you're heavy-handed like I am. Um, so it puts little holes and tears and rips and they not sexy. I needed to get rid of some. Um, so I found this for 10 bucks, which included nothing but purple. This one's kind of a pinky purple. Y'all know how I feel about pinky purple. Um, pink and purple, they have sex. And this was the baby. Can y'all stop doing that? Can I just get Layla purple, please? So anyway, this little pouch is too cute. I love PVC pouches. This is literally the darkest shade of purple I love. I feel like it's not picking it up clearly. But this reminds me of elementary school Crayola brand crayons. The purple that's in the box. That is the darkest shade of purple I prefer. I don't like to go any darker. I don't like eggplant purple and burgundy-ish purple and reddish looking purple no stop here and let's go down to layla purple which is lilac pastel lavender easter purple those shades of purple so anyway it's got a gold zipper on the top it looks like this from the side and i thought this would be perfect to add to my collection of pouches this is just the paper that's in it so the back is actually clear as well so i'm super excited about that because it's a pretty purple yes please so now i can toss out some of those well i already tossed them out that's the problem the quantity of what i own now is kind of low all right so that one's empty wait a minute i feel like it okay <laughs> why did i put this here I'm confusing myself all right y'all we're getting there <laughs> next like i said i was getting throws for the different holidays and this color just screams Easter to me it says blessed on the bottom it is a Raydon throw it's one of the larger ones I love these it's like the 50 by 70 and I also like the 60 by um, 80 ones that we can get this one was 17 y'all know it's because it was Raydon um, but it was really really nice her quality is awesome they always feel amazing so I did go ahead and grab this one for one of the Easter throws so I got that out of the way and when they start releasing more of the Easter stuff as well as the um, St. Patty stuff, I'll go ahead and get the throws for them. So I have been like decorating like the table, you know, some couch pillows, a wreath on the front door, things like that, um, candle holders. But I haven't had throws for those holidays. I kind of stopped at Christmas. And as you know, back in the fall, I picked up the fall blankets. And so I wanted to go ahead and get some for these other seasons. I haven't found anything that will work for New Year's. Like I would like something that's got like icicles or snowflakes or just like a cute silver one i didn't find one today so maybe later this is a beauty supply store bag i got a new edge brush it was 249 it is purple yes please so just a brush to kind of um brush down my edges which i told you guys before i used to use a toothbrush <laughs> my bestie kendra taught me how to do that back when we met in 1999 um but since these little edge brushes came out i did throw away the you know toothbrush method and start using those um jazzy got another little chapstick let's see this was definitely overpriced but she lost hers so we had to go and get it it was 349 i like to get these from the dollar tree as well or from cvs with one of my coupons um but the dollar tree did not have any so we grabbed this today so let me add that to her stack what else she was talking to her friend and she wants to grow her hair out and they were saying how they were using this and it was working. This does not have a sticker on it. So we were a little confused about the price. Apparently you apply this like in a thin amount on your scalp um, once a week. It's supposed to be a really good moisturizing oil. It's got like coconut and rice bran and olive oil, cocoa butter, extracts of maroon and chickpea and a whole bunch of stuff. So highly doubt this is going to make your hair fall out. However, her hair is about four inches long so she doesn't have a whole lot to lose should that happen but she chose to use it she wanted to try this so i think it was 10 15 if i'm not mistaken very odd price if you ask me okay that's my mom's receipt i asked her to give it to me since we were oh since i'm scanning fetch receipts okay my receipt must be somewhere else 
slide that back I'll find it but I think it was 1015 so anyway it's a wild growth hair oil so I hope it works um I'm probably gonna use a little bit if I see some work you know some action um and then of course I make it my own bottom where are we at 10 minutes all right we doing good okay then this I love how this came with one of those little um o-rings that we like to use where you push it in and you can slide things on so it's got one of those o-rings and then it's got a traditional key ring and a little bit of a gold um, strap is a super large back charm in white which they had a lay the purple but I'll be fine then it's got this little bracelet already attached to it which I love but my um, really favorite part about it is it does have a zipper on the side and I thought I could use this a number of ways I can put my coins in here I can stash some cash in here but my initial thought was I can use this twofold it's gold on the inside I don't really know if I'm be able to show it to you guys really well but it's gold on the inside and it's really pretty it's like a satin material but I was thinking I could put a hand sanitizer in here so it can be my you know hand sanitizer holder but it also could be decorating my bag because it has this super super cute bracelet on it I don't currently have any palm charms that have a bracelet on it so I thought this one was absolutely adorable um it was four dollars if I'm not mistaken but if I find that receipt in one of these other bags I can tell y'all for sure but I'm pretty sure it was four dollars so put that over there and I thought that was a great price even a little higher than Shein which I will have a Shein haul coming soon they ship things separately I kind of hate when they do that um, but I will have a Shein haul coming soon because I did pick up quite a few charms there. Some duplicated because I really just want to put some charms on um, a, like those coach wristlets. I really want to get that leather strip, I mean leather strap off. But anyway, we can talk about that when it comes. These were super cute. I couldn't decide which one my son might like. Um, Jazzy likes to wear cologne. So we'll pick these up. These were both $10 from Ross. One is Spider-Man and one is Captain America. And these are colognes. Unfortunately, when you buy perfumes and colognes in those stores, they're usually in that little clear case thing with the lock on it. So you can't freaking smell it. So we, <laughs> we have no idea what they smell like, but I'm sure they'll smell nice. And these were the 3.4 ounces. So really good size for... Um, you know cologne you guys y'all know how i went crazy about that easy miyaki perfume a couple months back i did end up buying the big bottle i found it um but i saw a bottle in ross and i got stupid excited but i paid attention this time the ounces most of us buy our perfumes and colognes in either 1.7 or 3.4 the ounces on that one was just like the that bottle i went crazy about the first time in marshall's it was only 0.84 ounces so less than one ounce and it was still 40 dollars I left it right there because I do still have like, I don't know, maybe 40% of that bottle left. I love that one. <laughs> that and Vicky Secret's Bombshell Passion are like my two favorite like perfumes. Like they just drive me crazy besides the Louis Vuitton one, but y'all already know about their prices. So we ain't gonna be getting that again. But anyway, so I did see that Izzy Miyake, but I left it there. And again, like I said, I've been trying to pick up throws for the um, season. This one is super cute, ultra soft. It's a 50 by 70. It was $10 at Ross. It's a very nice Valentine's Day throw. Looks like the cute bow that was on it came out. And I ain't worried about this being pretty. I'm just going to tag. But this one almost kind of looks like a, um, it has like lollipops and hearts and stuff. Looks like a vine, probably. That side, I guess that, ups, that side is like upside down, but it's really cute. I like it. I like it a lot. And again, this is what the tag looks like. So super cute. They had a lot of um, throws at Ross, like Valentine's. It was honestly hard to choose. I really didn't want to get more than two, but that Mickey Mouse one and the, how large it was just really tickled my fancy. I was like, hey, this is a date night throw. We got to get it. So this one's super cute. And I love the hanger. It's got like a rainbow heart on it. Love that. Super cute. Might keep this one. It's on that red one. Nothing. No problem. Anyway, um, so this is another um, large plush throw. It's a 50 by 70. It does say love on it. This one is more kind of girly. It's got Hello Gorgeous. It's got nail polish, lipstick, makeup, makeup brushes, compact, eyeshadow. It's got all kind of stuff on it. And I like how the material is on this one. I don't know if it's picking it up well. I'm trying to peek at the viewfinder but stay out of it. It's almost like a, it kind of reminds me of like a towel, how it looks, but it feels completely soft. It feels just like the other throws. It just kind of has that, I don't know what to call it. It's almost like a weave look to it, um, like a basket weave or like a towel, but it's super, super cute. So I love that. And this one was also, yeah, $10. 
So that one was also ten. And that from Ross. And that bag is empty. And we only got a few more to go, y'all. Alright, so we got a tree. Um, this looks like it is all jazzy. Jazz! Yeah. Uh, you might want to come get this. You gotta keep this in the refrigerator. This spicy beef patty you got. Okay, so yeah, this is all her bag of some, you know, gifts and cards and gifts and candy. And yeah, this is all her stuff. So I don't want to show her stuff. Because I'm not sure if her people watch my video. So I don't want to spoil it. You gonna catch it? Ah! We probably shouldn't do that. It's okay. Huh, crack these open when you get a moment. See what they smelling like. All right, and then, y'all, they had these Jessica Simpson compact mirrors for, I think, $4? Yes, $4. They had, like, three different prints, and I could not decide. The runner-up was, like, um, I think the background was, like, a red, and it had, like, burgundy and pink lips all over it. It was so cute, but I ended up getting this one. The pink looks like it has a little bit of glitter in it, and then you've got the word love with the hearts um written in red and i thought that was super cute and it's like the traditional one so you know one side is um what do you call it a magnet and one side is regular so i thought this was super cute the back of the box looks like this and they have like the you know cute little strap hang it so you know cute stuff i needed a smaller mirror y'all know i love my big blinged out just personalized layla's written on it stiletto mirror but when i carry bags like this I don't really want to put that in there. It's going to take up a lot of real estate. So I got that compact mirror. And I also have one coming from Sheen um, that I thought was too stinking cute. So back to the pajama shirt um, issue or pajama sleep shirt. So, of course, $10. It's in budget for what I like. This one is a Daisy Fuentes. And it's got Paris on it. And it's in like a pretty hot pink, Barbie pink, fuchsia pink, whatever you want to call it, pink color. So I thought that was super cute. Love. Now, I do wish this was another color. I don't know what color, though. Like, I'm being so extra. Like, I don't want it to be white, but I feel like the gray itself is boring. But what it says was, yes, please. Let me see if that whole thing is in frame. Looks like it. So, I thought this was too cute. Single taking drinking wine. Mm -hmm. Yep, me in about 30 minutes. <laughs> so, I love that one. And it was also 10, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, what you think? Ooh, they're pretty. So you guys can see them out of the bottles and out of the box now. The Captain America and the Spider-Man cologne. They smell okay. They smell okay. Mm. Captain America. I mean, the Spider-Man's my favorite too. Yeah. I was just, when I smelled it, it was like I see Mally. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. So cute, cute. Love that. I'll show him both of them, but let him know which one is his. And then again, this one's gray. I kind of wish the color was different, but I love this it says be mine and then they crossed it out and put wine i thought that was too stinking cute so also ten dollars same brand daisy fuentes and i wear a medium so got that and then i was telling you guys about these i love these little like i don't know what they're called it's almost like a camisole type of pajama um again they could be lined or unlined i don't care but i like it with the little lace on it these are the ones that are comfortable enough for me to sleep in and looks like that from the back just kind of you know adjustable straps and it's pink with the lips all over it and this one was also ten dollars if i'm not mistaken I find it. yep ten bucks so clean out my pajama drawer get some girly stuff in there not that seasonal christmas one yo we reached the bottom <laughs> all right so I hope you guys enjoyed this haul video. I had fun showing you guys everything. These are all the goodies that Jazzy and myself and Mommy picked up today. Um, again, Ross Marshall's um, TJ Maxx Dollar Tree and a beauty supply store were all of our stops. But I do have some goodies coming. Um, I told y'all Vicky's released the purple at the cart. Um, they also released the Valentine's Day stuff with the pink hearts and the red hearts and the gold hearts and the clear like PVC bag. And then it's got the hearts on the bottom. Just go look. You just, I, I'm sorry. I'll, I'll be held accountable that you, you went and spent coins. I'm sorry. Just go. 
So, yep, add to cart. So, I have to haul that. And then I do have a sheen haul. I ordered some more press on nails, as well as, like I said, um, compact mirror. I ordered some charms for pouches. I didn't really order charms for bags. They're mostly like letter charms and hearts and butterflies and um, flowers and just cute stuff to go on pouches and stuff so I got charms and what else I'm trying to think of something else in there I think I got a couple of cosmetic pouches not too too many but a few um so some cosmetic pouches that was just calling my name and y'all already know the machine prices it's like what two dollars and ten cent that's it that's the card but I'm gonna tell y'all something and don't judge me I'm gonna tell you like my sister be saying don't judge me judge your mama did y'all know that you can't check out on sheen with more than 99 items in your cart I said don't judge me judge your mama right okay so stop stop fix your face fix your face Stop judging me, okay? So what had happened was, it was like 1 a.m. and I couldn't sleep, so I was scrolling. $2.10, add to cart. Compact mirror, a dollar, add to cart. Oh, this charm is too cute, a dollar, add to cart. So I quickly got to 117 items before I even knew it, so okay, check out. So I went to check out, and it's like, we're sorry, you can't check out with more than 99 items. I'm like, how you gonna block me and tell me what I could check out with? How you gonna check in my money? Okay, no problem. So I moved them to the favorites to get it down to 99. Check out. <laughs> and y'all know with Sheen, typically if you spend a certain amount, you do get the free shipping. So I checked out, put the favorites back in the cart. I think it was what, if it was 117, 99, that's 18. So put them 18 items back in the cart, still got the free shipping. Check out. So I don't know why, but they ended up shipping them separately. So it's not even just two packages coming. It'll be a couple of packages. So um kind of hate that because then when it shows up hubby's like well how many times did you buy stuff i really only bought it one time but see what had happened was and then when they get the shipping see what had happened was so anyway i will have a sheen haul i kind of really at first didn't think about doing one but i know i love watching these kind of videos so i'm definitely gonna go ahead and film that um so i got the sheen haul the vicky's haul and then see what had happened was coach released their little uh seasonal stuff and it's like these really pretty cherries and i know miss cherry here on youtube and instagram has got to be losing her damn mind i probably should dm her and ask her how much she spent <laughs> so i could be like girl don't worry i ain't judging you tell them other hoes judge your mama but anyway they released a cherry collection so they've got like bags and pouches and keychains and eyeglass set and notebook cover all their usual stuff they got some stuff is white with the red cherries and some stuff some stuff is pink with the red cherries and I don't know why but the pink stuff just really really spoke to me and then some of the things like the pencil pouch only comes in white with the cherries y'all know how fire that would have been if it was pink with the cherries or the notebook cover pink with the cherries and listen to me I'm like writing and raving about pink but I'm a purple loving person but just like this sweater which is from Amazon I'll try to find it and link it in my storefront if anybody's like oh sis where's the sweater from but anyway y'all know if it come in purple I'm gonna get purple but if it don't come in purple and it's cute and it's pink come here so anyway I will have a couple of hauls coming up and um like I said I know this cutie is kind of in the corner like show me show me show me so i am gonna film a what's in my bag in her so make sure you watch that if you haven't already watched it first i don't know which one i'm gonna upload first but anyway thanks for watching if you are a subscriber and an sb family member hey girl hey thanks for watching thanks for loving me and my channel and all your support i am so excited that you guys love my videos keep coming back keep commenting i love chatting with y'all so keep the convos going dms if you got personal questions ig is the same name just one sb and if you're new here hello my name is layla i hope you enjoyed the video thank you for clicking on it and watching it and making it this far in the video because i know it may be long and i hope to see all of you lovely gorgeous babes in the next video bye